Hi there, hope you are doing great today. So I had a few comments in the comments section asking if I could do a test in Ableton Live using some of uh, the contact libraries. So in this video I'm going to make a new track. I'm just going to take a track I've already made and change up some of the instruments and use most of most of the instruments from the native instrument uh, contact libraries instead. Uh, some of you wanted to know how the performance was using only that type of instruments and this video is only about that. So let's get to the computer and see what we can do and uh, I hope you like it. Okay, here we are. I took my latest project called Element 115 and remade it a little bit using only contact instruments. And I can go through some of the tracks here just to show you uh, quickly. The first track here is Analog Dreams. And then we have Innocent Lead, Analog Dreams, Retro Vibes. And then we have, not sure what this is called, but it's this one. Then we have uh, uh, this synth, uh, Retro Machines MK2. And then we have Ethereal Earth. Then we have Session Strings, Hybrid Keys, the giant, some more session strings, Middle Earth uh, or Middle <laughs> Middle Earth, Middle East strings, and uh, Drum Lab. I haven't mixed this uh, really that good, so it will sound a bit muddy. Not that good, in my opinion. But we can take a listen to how it sounds right now in uh, 48 kilohertz 256 this will obviously work it's going to be playing at 100 percent right away so if you have the volume loud maybe you should turn it down a little bit just a just a precaution here so just a quick uh, listen to how it sounds Yeah, as you can see here in the uh, CPU load meter in Ableton Live, it's around uh, 38, I think it was. And then, as you can see here also in, in the CPU chart here, it's not really using that much, but that's not, it's only 17 tracks, so that's okay. In this case, we are using 48 kHz and 256. But what we can do now, we can try to set it to, first of all, 32. That's the lowest my audio interface is able to go and we can uh, try that out. Okay, I'm not sure if this translated to the video you're looking at now, but I heard some tiny, tiny uh, pops and clicks uh, when playing. Oops, when playing this back at 48 kilohertz, 32 uh, samples. In my opinion, this is not working good enough. What I can do now for fun is uh, just take it up to let's say 96 and obviously 32 buffer size will not work here if it didn't work at 48 it will not work at 96 uh, but we can try yeah doesn't work that good but uh, we can try to set it at yeah i think 256 then we get six milliseconds let's see if if 96 kilohertz, 17 contact instruments, 256, see if that works. Yeah, looks like it works if you up the buffer size, obviously. But what I would like to do now is, I think, I'm not sure if I speak for everyone here. Uh, obviously, I don't. 
but when I produce in the box and not not using uh, a lot of external instruments I usually produce at 48 kilohertz and uh, maybe 256 uh, it doesn't really matter that much but uh, 256 so what I would like to do now is to see how many tracks we can load up at the same time in 48 kilohertz to 56 so what I'm going to do I'm going to take these tracks and I'm going to duplicate them like so so now we have 34 contact tracks here I'm just going to decrease the volume on the additional tracks here so we don't take over the mix that much and just check and see if 34 contact instruments works fine Yeah, you can see the CPU usage go up a little bit. You can also see the CPU or audio buffer here in Ableton Live go up a little bit as well. But I think we can try to duplicate this a few more times, maybe two times. Okay, so now we have 68 tracks of different contact instruments playing in 48 kHz, 256 samples. Let's see if it works. Sixty-eight tracks worked just fine. Uh, let's try to duplicate it again here. Okay, so now we have one hundred and two tracks of contact instruments playing in forty-eight kilohertz, two fifty-six. Let's see if it works. Yeah, we can. Uh, we, what, what we can do now, as you saw here, it didn't work that well, but I can take the master, master audio here and just take it down and just play it back again so I can talk while this is going. As you can see here, the CPU meter in Ableton Live is now at 114, about, yeah, around there, 115. And as you can see here also, in my, I'm not sure what this is called in English, but uh, you see my CPU usage here. And you can see that uh, a lot of the cores in the Ryzen system here is being utilized. Uh, they're not at 100% as you can see here, but they're pretty much up there. But I think we have hit the limit. What we can do now is we can see if we can remove, let's see if we remove Let's have 94 tracks. See how that works. Now, as you can see, the audio buffer then goes up to 105 again, and you will have audio dropouts, drop obviously. I thought we could try to up the buffer size to 512 and see if that helps. Yeah, I think 512 obviously works here. Uh, we can try to duplicate these again and see see if that uh, see if that works now. Okay, I heard a little drop out there. So yeah, I I think the limit of contact at least is around 100 contact instruments 
uh, with the settings you see here, 48 kilohertz and 512 samples. But again, uh, what we can do is, as you can see here, I also have some effects on each chain here. I have echo, compressor, and uh, some EQing, and uh, some included effects from Ableton Live here, like warm up lows, things like that. And I think that's also a re realistic way of testing it because most of you will obviously have some more effects down the line here. You will not only use contact, I think at least. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I hope this gave some insights in how many contact or sample libraries you can run at the same time on a AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core 24 thread CPU. And if you didn't know, I have uh, a 16 inch MacBook Pro on the way in and I would actually like to try to compare some of the Ableton Live projects from the PC to the MacBook and see see how the usage is. Is the Mac able to use the available resources in a better way compared to Windows? Is there some kind of overhead between Windows or is it a larger overhead in Windows compared to Mac? Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching these videos. It's highly appreciated. And a subscribe to the channel or a like to the video also helps. It also helps uh, the Google algorithm and YouTube. So thank you for that. I will see you in the next video. Take care and uh, goodbye.